Hello, in this video we will see about tricks to remember the intermediates of citric acid cycle, which is the third stage in the cellular respiration. The links for the earlier videos like glycolysis and conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A is given in the description box. The coming 9 minutes will make you sure about the citric acid cycle. The cellular respiration process includes four basic stages or steps. Glycolysis that converts glucose to pyruvate occurs in the cytosol. Second is the bridge reaction that is oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate which sets the stage for aerobic respiration. And the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain both are oxygen dependent pathways that occur in sequence in the mitochondria. The acetyl coenzyme A, which is formed in second stage of cellular respiration, takes part into tricarboxylic acid cycle. It is also called citric acid cycle or a Krebs cycle. The acetyl coenzyme A is condensed with the oxaloacetate and through series of metabolic reactions get converted to carbon dioxide. Here, the oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A is a text place in a mitochondrial matrix. And there is a formation of four reducing equivalents along with one GTP molecule. Remember that it is not a closed loop cycle as no any intermediate is directly involved or utilized inside the cycle. The oxaloacetate which is condensed with acetyl coenzyme A is again get resynthesized inside the cycle. Moreover, many intermediates can lose the cycle or can enter into the cycle as per the metabolic need and hence it is a very high traffic cycle. Let's see the overview of citric acid cycle. TCA cycle or the citric acid cycle is a common and final oxidative pathway for the metabolism of carbohydrate, amino acid and fatty acid. The acetyl coenzyme A is completely get oxidized to carbon dioxide. No any other intermediate is utilized inside the cycle. This cycle is takes place only in the presence of oxygen as there is no direct utilization of oxygen inside the cycle, but the oxidized form of the NAD and FAD are utilized inside the cycle to form a reduced equivalence. So there is a regular supply of NAD and FAD is required which is comes from electron transport chain and that requires the oxygen and hence Without oxygen, the TCA cycle can't able to operate. All the reactions of the TCA cycle are occurred in the mitochondrial matrix. It has a close proximity to the reactions of electron transport chain. As said earlier, the oxidized form of the NAD and FADR get reduced inside the TCA cycle. And the last one, apart from the generation of reduced equivalents and the energy it also helps in the synthesis of amino acid glucose and him here is a trick to recognize and remember all the intermediates of the tca cycle all of you know that in the morning we have a cup of tea or the coffee that stimulates us that gives us the energy and the same i have utilized to memorize the tca cycle and here is the trick a cup of coffee is always provides strong stimulus and freshness in the morning. The letters which are in the red indicates all the intermediates of TCA cycle. A is for acetyl coenzyme A, C for citrate, another C for cisaconitase, I for isocitrate, A for alpha ketoglutarate, S yes for succinyl CoA, S yes for succinate, F for fumarate, M for malate and O for oxaloacetate which is condensed with the acetyl coenzyme A. Moreover, the colors 
indicate here green color orange color gray color indicates here there is a formation of reduced equivalence and orange color there is a formation of gtp let's see that in the next slide in the second stage pyruvate is converted into acetyl coenzyme a by the action of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex which is then condensed with the oxaloacetate and forms the citrate through the citrate synthase enzyme citrate then converts to cis aconitase and cis aconitase to isocitrate the isocitrate here is responsible to form the first reducing equivalent that is NADH and also evolve one carbon dioxide molecule. The alpha ketoglutarate which is formed is again converted into succinyl coenzyme A and where the coenzyme A is get utilized and there is again formation of another reducing equivalent and a carbon dioxide. Succinyl coenzyme A then converts into succinate through succinate thiokinase enzyme and there is utilization of GDP converts into GTP. Succinate then converts to fumarate and there is formation of FADH2. Fumarate gets converts to malate and malate with the help of malate dehydrogenase enzyme converts to oxaloacetate and there is again formation of third reducing equivalent that is NADH. And in this way, oxaloacetate is get regenerated. If you look at the cycle, you can find out that there is a three NADH molecules are get formed. One is here, another is from alpha ketoglutarate, and third one is from the malate to oxaloacetate. And at all these three stages, the enzyme which is used is a dehydrogenase. In the same way, the FADH2 is generated, the enzyme is a dehydrogenase. You have to remember only the three enzymes. One is the succinyl coenzyme A converts to succinate, where succinate thiokinase is the enzyme. Fumarate to malate is a fumarase enzyme. Citrate synthase, which is the first enzyme, and the aconitase. And that's all. You can able to remember all the enzymes and the reactions takes place inside the TCA cycle. Here are the reactions are get summarized. The first reaction utilize the citrate synthase as the enzyme. Second reaction utilizes aconitase. Same third reaction converts this aconitase into isocitrate. The fourth reaction which is isocitrate to converts into alpha ketoglutarate utilizes isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme and formation of NADH and carbon dioxide. The same fifth reaction, sixth reaction generates the GTP molecule, seventh reaction generates FADH2 molecule, eighth reaction is fumarate to malate, and the ninth reaction again oxaloacetate is get resynthesized, which is utilized here in the first step, and NADH is get formed. The energetics is given in the second slide. The oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A to carbon dioxide generates reducing equivalents as well as a GTP. 3 NADH, 1 GTP and 1 FADH2 is synthesized in the cycle. 3 NADH gives 9 ATP, GTP gives similar equivalent as ATP, FADH2 gives 2 ATP molecules and that total 12 ATP molecules are synthesized for one molecule of acetyl coenzyme A oxidized through TCA cycle. In this way, the TCA cycle takes place in mitochondrial matrix. If you like this video, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Also request you to share with your friends and students. Thank you very much. See you in the next video for the cellular respiration.